Oh, and thanks for joining us. As more American airstrikes hit ISIS in Syria, the president admits the administration got things wrong. Speaking to 60 Minutes, he says he may have under or overestimated the ability of the Iraqi military to take on ISIS. Uh, our head of uh, the intelligence community, uh, Jim Clapper, has acknowledged that I think they underestimated uh, what had been taking place in Syria. Director of National Intelligence right there, and he also says the chaos of the Syrian civil war became ground zero for jihadists around the world. And despite promises from the American president that American troops will not be used to fight against ISIS, most Americans say they don't believe him. More than 7 in 10 in a new NBC News poll say they believe U.S. troops will eventually be on the ground. Well, an American doctor exposed to Ebola in Sierra Leone is now being treated right near Washington, D.C. The doctor, who has not been identified, is at a hospital at the National Institutes of Health. It isn't known yet if he really contracted the disease. Exposure, the concern there. Now, charges are also expected to be filed today against a suspect in that deadly attack on two women at a Oklahoma food distribution center. 30-year-old Alton Nolan is accused of beheading one woman and then stabbing another before he was shot. Both the second victim and Nolan have been in the hospital and are expected to recover. Police say he'll face several charge, charges, including first-degree murder and assault. Also in Oklahoma, the driver of a tractor trailer that smashed into a bus carrying a college softball team admits he may have been distracted right before the accident. Investigators say there are no signs that he hit the brakes or even tried to swerve when he crossed the median and hit that bus on Friday night. Four young women from the North Central Texas College softball team were killed. And it may not be until the middle of next month before the FAA facility that controls air traffic control in Chicago is back up and running fully. It was knocked out last week when a contract worker allegedly set a fire in the basement damaging equipment there. O'Hare and Midway airports were both shut down completely for parts of Friday during the day. Also, things started to get back to normal over the weekend, but hundreds of flights still had to be canceled yesterday. More protests in Ferguson, Missouri, after the police shooting death of Michael Brown. Cops are also searching for a person who shot a Ferguson police officer over the weekend, but they say that shooting has nothing to do with these protests. The officer who was investigating reports of a possible burglary at a community center was hit once in the arm. And more bodies have now been found near the summit of a Japanese volcano that erupted over the weekend, trapping hundreds of hikers. Searchers have now found five bodies near the summit of Mount Ontaki, bringing the presumed death toll to 36. They were found near the shrine at the summit there. Ontaki is a popular spot for climbers. Officials say at least 250 people were on the mountaintop when it erupted. Follow us for all day for news updates. Stay with Newsmax TV and Newsmax.com. I'm John Bachman. More news in 30 seconds, now, or 30 minutes. Now back to JD and America's Forum. Thank <laughs> you.